We handled Ephesians 1 and Ephesians 2. Twa gavana okuva mu Ephesus esule soka na Ephesus esula yokubiri. And what we are looking at that why you to know leader was seated with Christ. Ntitu ekigambe ekigama nti tutudene Kristo mu bifwe byo muguru. Now the death of Christ okufakwa Kristo has a number of things whether financially whether healing all those areas deliverance but I intentionally or the way God was leading me to from the, the day we celebrated Celebrated the resurrection. I've been talking about the authoritative part only. The authoritative Our position in Christ. But by his, by his stripes, if I chose to take healing. Or financial breakthrough. So this portion. This portion, this portion has been on the authority. Christ. Our position in Christ. And it's very important to understand that. Because if you do not, then you will be under the weight of oppression. And you look like you are just begging God. To do to do certain things. And yet God has put us in charge. Praise the Lord. John, John 8, 23. It says, John 8, 23 says and he said unto them you are from beneath I am from above you are of this world I am not of this world you are from yes but I'm from above praise the Lord I am from above. Praise the Lord. I am from what? Above. So you and me are from where? Above. 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 Me and you are from where? Above. And he goes on and he says, Whatever is born of God overcomes the what? The world. Are you born of God? Yes. Do you know where your birth begins? Praise the Lord. John 1 verses, verses 12. He says, But as many has received him to them gave he power to become the sons of God even to them that believed on his name praise God. which were born which were born not of blood we are, our birth is not by what? It's not by blood and flesh. 
our birth in Christ Mukristo. is not flesh and what? That's why he says Nayagamba. all those that did what? Received him. He gave them power to live or to walk as children of what? God. And yet they were not these were not born by blood. blood. No of the will of the flesh. No the will of man. But of God. Praise the Lord. And that's what the Bible tells us, the second what? Birth. So when we are born from above, as Jesus says, then we are above. Praise the Lord. Now Jesus tells these guys, in 8, John 8, Says, and he said unto them, You are from beneath or below. I am from above. You are, you are this world. You are of this world. I am not of this world. He is meaning, I am born from a higher dimension. A higher dimension of life. It's from above. Praise the Lord. And that's the same life that Christ has given us. We operate a higher dimension. Of life. A higher dimension of life. From the ordinary one. A higher dimension of what? Life. Praise the Lord. John 10. John 10, 30, 30, verse 30. Jesus said, I and my Father, we are one. You know, devils don't want to hear that. Satan does not want you. Satani, to know that you and God have a similarity. Praise the Lord. So when he said, I and my father are one, then the Jews took up stones again to stone him. The reason they said, he makes himself to be equal with God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And then he asked them, Therefore, Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law? I said, Ye are gods. If he called them gods unto whom the word of God came, and the scripture cannot be broken. Praise the Lord. And the scripture cannot be what? Be broken. So what he's saying that all of those whom the word of God came they were translated in Peter when you read he says we are partakers of his divine nature. You know the Bible, if you just read it anyhow, you will be at a loss. But it has a Bible Have you ever thought about it? We are partakers of his divine nature. 
Wayo gele danti Mulina embara yobu wakatonda And he says all those Whom the word came Ata wano na gama Ata wano na wakiriza Echi gambo Aba ulide echi gambo And they received it Neba chikiriza Moses was an ordinary man. Musa yali muntu wa bulijjo. But when he received the word of God. Naebo yafuna ekigambo kya katunda. When he went to Pharaoh. Bo yagende eri Pharaoh. God told him. Mukama yagamba Musa anti. I've now made you a god. Kufudde katonda eri Pharaoh. By virtue of God's word. Kulwe ekigambo kya yali akiriza. Operating. Ngaira chokola chikola mwe. He was elevated. Na yimusiwa. On another standard. Na siwa kudale dala. Beyond the flesh. Nga asukurumye amanyi agomu biriganu. I will not explain to everybody. But if you are listening to me by the spirit. Praise the Lord. In other words. You become translated. You become what? Translated. Pastor Kayanja has ever shared some of his testimony. Pastor Kayanja, I know Judizi, we are here, we are governor ko, emi akejo. When he was preaching the gospel, we are here, we are here, in Uganda, I think, Western. Western Uganda. So the soldiers of Amini came, Abasiri Kaleva Amini, Nebaja, and they dispersed with the blades, they dispersed the crowd, they dispersed the crowd, they dispersed the crowd, they said they were looking for him, they said they were looking for him, Pastor Kayanja, and for him, he stood where he was. And then he told his interpreter to move. And so these men were looking for a person. People have run out. And they could not see him. But they say that he went, he went and he had squatted somewhere. Yes. He had gone with the helicopter. So he was there squatting, holding his hand. So now the interpreter, one of the soldiers went and sat on his back. One of the soldiers. Just like you see this. Like this. So he came and sat like this. Now the interpreter said, For him he saw the pastor looking like an ant hill. Translated. Translated. We are partakers of his divine nature. And when you tap into that, you become impossible. People can throw words. People can throw arrows. I am now speaking what I have gone through. I know it. I am not when people think, I will bring him down. I will bring him down. I am a partaker of his divine nature. Whether you shoot from near or you shoot from far, I am a partaker of his divine nature. I am a partaker of his divine nature. On another time, he was preaching outside Africa. Snipers came and entered the hotel. They followed him from the crusade. They came and opened the, the room. He was inside. He was. Uh, he said he was lying on his bed. And they couldn't see him. They carried the photographic camera. He, he went and reported. When they say the, the news went that they attacked a certain preacher, preacher. And they say the hotel is very secure. They say, you mean he was in that hotel? They came the following night. This time he says he was kneeling on the ground. He was kneeling on his bed. Ray. They returned back at the camera. 
They walked around. They didn't see him. That was the, the end of their visit. Praise the Lord. Many men of God have shared. Now, this doesn't, this doesn't just happen as a miracle. The Bible says, in him, in him we live. In him we live. In him we have our being. In him. It is not a quotation. He's talking about a realm of life in him. When you enter in him. When you enter in him. It is a world of itself. So in him we move. Even when people try to do certain things. In him. They can try to betray us. They can try to throw witchcraft. In him. Partakers of his divine nature. Partakers of his divine nature. Hallelujah. I was only trying to tell you that. So, Pharaoh tried to do. This is the same Moses who was in there, in that same palace. But this time, when he came by the word of the Lord, he was totally a changed person. He was totally a changed person. Witches came and contended with him. And nothing happened. He said he threw his rod. And he swallowed all of them. I'm talking about the authority we have in Christ. When he says we are seated with him. Praise the Lord. So when he said, when he says, unto them that the word of the Lord came, he made them. Yes. He is saying they were translated. They, they changed. They changed. They, they didn't become ordinary. We are not ordinary. And people will begin to describe certain things. I think they will try to look for you. They will try to look for you. Okay. There was somebody whom we contended with. And then he came and told me, Who do you call yourself? I've been looking for you in the spirit. You cannot, you can't trace me. You can't trace me. Hey, when we meet there, but we, we see can see. You. <laughs> it's good. The person looks for me. I didn't get me. But but if we meet there, one may not come back. back. If it was true that this person was looking, if we meet there, one of us may not come back. And it, was, and it was the other person who would not come back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I know I speak a number of things to us, but some of us seem to be like, maybe it is true, maybe. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I and my father are one. They that trust in the Lord, they are like Mount Zion. But cannot be moved. You want to move me? I am likened to Mount Zion. Go and move it out of its place. But if you cannot move it, I am unshakable. I am unshakable. I am unshakable. What I'm telling you is about revelation. 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 <laughs> there was something I was explaining to Mammy simply. Sometimes I tell her, 
Urusa ngamba? Uh, maybe I've, uh, I'm seeing this and that. Ebi sere ema ye chundu ya ngamba, ntiku ndiyo yo. Haina chundu chino na chino. So at what first. What? So at first. Ebi sere ebi singa. Wamu kuso. Thought, is God showing me? But the person is also a child of God. Omuntu wa mulusi mkama gwanda ganga mwana wakatuunda. So at first I thought maybe God was, but let I was taught that all of us are children of God as we are. But the things I am seeing about you or another person is not that because God is exposing the person, is not that because God is exposing the other person, it is just the level of spiritual sensitivity. Because the same God will answer you, the same God will answer me. So he's not just exposing you. No. Our levels are different. So I am able to open my binoculars and I'm granted to see. To see something wrong about you. But you are not an enemy of God. So that's why it's not your enemy. It's not just like it's for me and not for you. But the levels are different. Praise the Lord. And you know every other thing that you see about somebody, it's not that God has shown you to go and tell them. Some of us think, some of us think that when God shows you, he says he's giving you a burden to God. No. Some of them it's not so. He just wants you to know the kind of person. So whenever you get a dream or vision, it's not a... So whenever you get a dream or vision, it's not a... So whenever you get a dream or vision, it's not a... Nange manyi, echo mbo leda. Other defamatory dreams that Satan can use. Na yu ato lusi, sitani alete viloto, nga sibi tufu, na agula go muntu, na yenga chakula zete chifu deli katunda. Nga sitani ya agalo kumusi igen zero. He wants you to develop a different attitude. Omulabe mongeri ya anja uro. Towards the person. Omulabe mongeri ya mbi. Especially if he knows. Kasa sitani ya manyanti, your deliverance is attached there. Satan can do that. Praise the Lord. Having gone through those simple scriptures, Luke 19, he says, Luke 10, 19, he says, Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Luka kumi kumi na muenda timba wada amanyi okuri nyirida kumisota nenjava ezobu sabwa ne kumanyi gona gomulabe elate zija amanyi agotegadja kubako labubi we have been given what? Power. To do what? To trample over what? Serpents, scorpions. All these are dangerous, dangerous things. Dangerous things. Serpents and scorpions. Emisota. Dangerous things. Then he says, and, and over all the power of the enemy. Over all the power of the enemy. And he says, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. It will not do what? 
It may annoy you a bit. It may be irritate you a bit. But he says, but he says it has no power to hurt you. To finish you. Because he has given us power. He has given us power. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And we are seated with Christ. In the heavenly places. In the heavenly places. And that should be our prayer. That we do not leave our post. We do not leave our position. In God. We don't leave our position in what? In God. You walk away from the grace God has given you you end up in a disgrace. Did you hear that? You walk away from the given grace. You walk into this grace. The prodigal son walked away and he came back empty. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He came back empty. So check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself and see. Hallelujah. But he says serpents, scorpions are supposed to be leveled. One man called Idaosa now is late. There were witches who had planned to have a conference which is from all over the world they were supposed to have it in, in Nigeria and in the city where the house has it so when he heard about it, he said that cannot happen. Not in my city. Not in my city. So, the newsmen, you know, they enjoyed it. They went to, to the host of all the witches. Is the conference of the witches going to take place? He said yes. How many are they? Nine thousand. Nine thousand eight hundred of them. Almost ten thousand witches. Gathering from all over the world. So, he said, Are you going? It also says you cannot. Host that conference. He said, Not even God can stop that conference. We are too many for him. 
you know a witch who would fly from one country <laughs> to another you know, you know that they are not easy praise the lord praise the lord but he stopped the mission, whether physical or spiritual, he stopped it. So they went back to the Idahosa. Are you sure, Bishop? Are you sure? Say, please do not go beyond your levels. Don't go beyond your levels. Nine thousand eight hundred witches. The host said, Only God can stop it. The host said, The host said, The host said, right. The right. Not even God can stop it. Is this? Yes, he's right. Why do you say he's right? He says, God does not have to take care of cheap things. I am here for that. God cannot waste his time. God cannot, he has a lot to do. Now this is a man who knows he's seated far above. 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 So he doesn't need to call upon God. He, he knows. knows what it takes to stop what Satan is doing. Satan is doing. So they said, okay, let's arrange a meeting in the studio. Come and tell us. So they came in the studio. And they sat. And it also assured him. We are going in this meeting. The whole church was watching now. We are going to in the discussion. But at the end of this uh, broadcast, I will kill somebody in this. So tension builds in the studio. Of course, when you are the host. So, the host didn't know whether the man will go to the So, they gave the witch. Are you going to host? He says, I don't know about it. He says, okay, tell us, tell us where, your, where is your power? So he, on, he quoted the books of Moses. He quoted the Egyptian books. He quoted, he says, we are so and they say, Bishop, it's your turn now. He said, I have no words to speak. Because Leviticus says, Don't allow a witch to do what? To live. Kill them. But don't allow a witch to do what? To kill them. So that is my basis. And so, I will not have anything to share to add on. Now, you man, tell me. Before the cameras. What you answer me will determine your life today. Don't explain. Tell me yes or no. You say I'm a witch, you die now. And he was serious. That's a daughter. You ever came and the, the aircraft had already gone. He says, No, 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 I must sit in that aircraft. He said, no, he has, he has gone. What do we do? He says, no. Give me the radio call. Come back and land here. These ones, they want to land. They have to waste a fuel. They want to land. They have to waste a fuel. They came back. They came back. And they said, no, no, no. Give me the radio call. 
and they landed. Another time he went, he, he got when the aircraft was taxing going. And he told, he told his driver, drive in front of that aircraft. So everybody was mad. How can you drive? You went to position. He was quiet. They said the aircraft is full. It is full. He said, allow me to get inside. So when he entered in, he said, is there anybody willing to give space? He, he was taking Osborne and his wife. They left. Say, these people have to fly and everybody, everybody see that is wasting our time just says you get up you you get get up. Up. and one of the scenarios was involving Dangote one of the richest men that one, yeah, in Africa, that one, I think, stood by himself. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. because you stood for me, the world will stand Muganda, for you. Now, Muganda, and you are going to go to the city of 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 the began to grow. Anyway, so he told this man, Yes or no? You say yes, you die now. They will carry you dead from here. So the man now, are you a witch? He says no. Okay, out. 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 Get out of this place. And he says the following day the man traced his office and came and picked a Bible. But of course he made it a witch. But there he was defeated. And the conference never held. One man of God resisting almost 10,000 witches. Yet for us here, when we wanumba is it wanumba wanumba comes around, only one. The whole church is put on tension. Have we understood the authority we carry? Greater is he that is in me than all the witches and the devils in the world. One. Praise the Lord. That's what the Bible says. You will know the truth and the truth will be set you free. Set you free. So there is nothing like this one has come from China. This one has come from this one has, come from China. This one has different powers. No. No different powers. I have been given the power over Satan himself. Me. Me. And you. I've been given the power over who? Oh, oh, all these ones, whether they come from China or Guatemala, China, they work under who? Satan. Now, if I have power over Satan, so who is this servant of Satan? Hey, I was, I was, a, I was a funny movie we are watching. Somebody came at the, at the farm. farm. This is where is uh, I want. So the, the workers were responding. He says, I, I didn't come to talk to the cows. I want the owner of the cows. Don't reduce my level. Don't answer what I want. Praise the Lord. So the power we have is not just power over demons. Is the power we have is over Satan himself. Is over Satan himself. Is over Satan himself. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You got it. I know there are some people who understand the message when you bring some illustration 
and you relate some testimonies. Abamu tuwa mwe obubaka wakute gero maze kogera kujudizi. Colossians chapter 1. Kwa wakoli iso. We're just reading Colossians 1 and 2. We shall be done. Chapter 1. Sule soka. Verses 9. The Bible says, For this cause, we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you, and to desire that you might be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding, that you might walk worthy of the Lord unto all pleasing. Being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. Have you heard that? It says that we heard and we've been praying for you God is saying, that you may walk worthy of the Lord. Walk worthy of the Lord. Take advantage of who you are. Walking worthy is take advantage of your office. It's an honorable office. It's an office above. Office Where is the Lord? So he said, this govern, we are praying that you and then he says that, and that you increase in the knowledge in the knowledge of God the more you know this God the more you become confident you become confident I know some people will say okay the more you know God, the more you become holy, holy. I have not refused that. But once you know God, you will not be in the filthy, filthy things. For what? Actually, no. Actually, the subject of holiness is already settled. Yes. 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 Praise the Lord. That one will not be a subject for anybody to guide you. Even your nature alone, even your nature alone, you have nothing, you have nothing to do with the filthy stuff. No. Your conscience is too clean. Because Over what? Praise the Lord. So he says, walk worthy. Take advantage. And he says, worthy of the Lord unto all, unto all pleasing, being fruitful in every good work. In every good work. We are supposed to be what? Fruitful in every good work. Whatever we touch, we are fruitful. Whatever we see, we are fruitful. Praise the Lord. Say, I will be fruitful. I am fruitful. Yes, I am. Fruitful in every good work. Every good work. He's not talking about you going to begin gossiping. That's not a good work. You want God to bless you to be fruitful. See, see, Dividing people, sowing discord. Digging behind people's back. That's not a good work. Contending with the people. That's a good work. And you cannot be fruitful in that. He says being fruitful in every word. Good work. Fruitful in every good work. 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Are you doing evangelism? You will be fruitful. Are you doing get, giving financial support? You will be fruitful. Do you mind about building others' faith? You will be fruitful. Being fruitful in every word. Good work. Good work. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. And increasing in the knowledge of God. Increasing in the knowledge of God. I want to assure everybody involved in every good work. In this church, also in this church, you will be fruitful whether you like it or not. Fruit is coming your way. Praise the Lord. Amen. You know when a tree is planted in the right, correct place, it doesn't force fruits. The season comes and the flowers there and the fruit comes. So your season is coming. Who is involved in every good work in this church? Building things, having a burden to see that so things move away. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the season of fruitfulness is coming. It's coming. It's coming. You know, sometimes a tree will begin by having maybe five mangoes. The next lot you find, is the next lot is covered. That is you. Every involver in every good work. You are not permitted to go without food. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Increasing in the knowledge of what? Decided to increase in the knowledge of God. Decided. Not in the knowledge of knowing all the players in Man U. Some of us know all the players in Manchester, Manchester United. United Arsenal. Arsenal. You know all the players. Some of us you are determined to know everybody's weakness. I know that. One. I know that one. In the church. That's oh, the increase of your knowledge. Oh, 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 oh Praise the Lord. Increasing in the knowledge of what? We shall tell the difference. I want to know God. I want to know God. Easy. I will bring that one down. I know how to do it. I don't know what to do. Hey, you are increasing in the knowledge of trickery. You will be frustrated. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Increase in the knowledge of God, not devils. Not devils. No. You are not Strengthened with all might according to his glorious power and all patience and long suffering with joyfulness giving thanks unto the father which has made us made us meet to be partakers of the inheritance of the saints in light oh yeah yeah tule tere okubanga tu sanida okugabana mokubusikabwe praise the lord we are partakers of what the inheritance Inheritance of saints. Praise the Lord. 
the inheritance of the saints, partakers of his divine nature. He has given us power to, be, to walk like children of God. That's our heritage. That's our heritage. Hallelujah. Who has delivered us from the power of darkness and has translated us into the kingdom of his dear son? Praise the Lord. In whom? In whom? We have redemption through his blood. Through his blood. Through the forgiveness of sins. So we are not in the same kingdom. He says he has already translated us. We are in the kingdom where Christ rules. We are not in the same kingdom with witches. We are not in the same kingdom with our 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 cousins or brothers who are non-believers. Even if we are from the same family, what affects my a non-believer or, or my brother or sister who is not saved cannot affect me. Even if we are born by the same father, same mother, we are in different kingdoms. There is nothing like this family this is what is following us. My status changed the day I received Christ. I entered a different dimension. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Tell whoever is sleeping to wake up. You cannot afford it to sleep at the time of instruction. That is inflicting robbery to yourself. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Verses, verses, verses 19. He says, For it pleased the Father that in him should all fullness dwell. It pleased the Father that in him all fullness dwell. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 21 he says, And you that were sometimes alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked words, yet now has he reconciled. Uh in the body of his flesh through death through the death we are celebrating isn't it to present you holy and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight Praise the Lord. We have no case. Present, he says, through his death to present you holy. Holy. Amen. Amen. So his death gave me a ticket into holiness. Give me a ticket into holiness. Praise the Lord. Not by myself. But the holiness of Christ. The holiness of what? Christ. Not because I am counting how many good things I have done. 
But believing I am a holy person. Praise the Lord. Some of us think holiness think is moving, moving like when you talk about holiness when you talk about holiness some people see a picture of something that is gentle you don't turn it this way no. he is not talking about the outward expression that man is a very gentle man he's a very quiet man in fact he's a holy man of God uh, that is not the holiness the Bible is saying some of us have tagged there are pastors who are very gentle and very quiet. And they say, that man is a holy man. Holiness is not about the outside expression. Hey, but the other one. He just comes to the That one is not <laughs> If that is the standard of your own holiness. How the other one speaks. The holiness is talking about the one Christ has made us to be. And he says, through his death, through his blood, he's going to present us before the Father. These are the ones. These are the ones. The Father will have no question to ask whether they are holy. Because the blood did it. Yes. Oh, what do you think? You think your holiness is by works? Works. Now, God never, never used the works to make us righteous and holy. He gave, us, he gave us the nature of holiness and righteousness. Now, it's like you've been put in the office of the president. You now begin to learn to walk like, that, like, like what the office demands. Office ya, ya president, Kati kwa otu kama office yo, nota ni kwa kuhige mpisa. E mpisa za mu. So God never waited for you to be holy. He gave you what? Holiness. He gave you righteousness. He is righteousness. Kati kwa amalo kukua, wanoli okuwa higa, nzo mutukufu untambula antia. So that's why you become uncomfortable. So that's why you become uncomfortable. You become uncomfortable of certain behaviors because the nature of holiness and righteousness is building. Is building in you. Have you understood it? Praise the Lord. You get embarrassed when you are. When we, we, you come and we are preaching about gospels, contenders, those who are doing this, you discover. Oh, we are because now you are a different person. But what I'm showing you is that God already made us what? If holiness was impossible, he would have not said, Be ye holy because I, your God, is what? If I ask somebody, are you holy? Some people will be, I'm not sure. I'm sure. Because you are <laughs> not sure. I am the righteousness I of God. I am the righteousness of God. I am a holy person. Yes. Ndisenti. Praise the Lord. Ah, now. <laughs> now mommy, mommy has said the right thing. Some people think Saint Augustine and uh, Saint Luke. <laughs> those were the saints. <laughs> no. You are looking for a saint? Oh, no, no, saint. 
Is he here? Who no saint? Saint Agnes. Not the other dead one. Sorry, you move. Saint Moses. Saint Anet, who you? Saint Augustine, who you? Saint George, who you? Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Seated here are the saints of the Most High God. All oh, you thought your name doesn't fit to be a saint. Oh, I said, I've never heard of oh, Saint well, Julius. Saint Julius. <laughs> <laughs> you, are you are the one. You are the one. You say, I've never heard about Saint Brenda. You are the one. You Saint Esther. Praise the Lord. Mm. What do you want, Saint Monica? Hey, Saint Monica is Monica there. Monica, you're Saint Monica. Praise the Lord. You thought they are written somewhere. Okay, you got the point. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. It says in the body of his flesh, through his death, he presented us holy and unblameable. Unblameable and unreprovable. Unreprovable. Don't allow your own conscience to do what? Or to inflict guilt on you. He says you are unblameable. Christ has done it for me. Let's go to Colossians 2. And verse 13. It says, And you being dead in your sins and the uncircumcision of your flesh, that he quickened together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses. Having forgiven you all what? Trespasses. All trespasses. Blotting out the handwriting of ordinances. Nasazam. That was against us. He blotted out what? The handwriting of ordinances that was against us. Praise the Lord. Which was contrary to us. And he took it, took it out of the way, nailing it to his cross. Hallelujah. Every handwriting. Us. Any word that is hanging. This scripture is still working. Anybody who has written something oh, down. Anybody who has said something down. Oh, your life. Oh, oh, this one here. You can stand on this scripture. Oh, in every handwriting no against me. Every statement is on now. Every negative word. Anything written in the spirit. If there is anything written. When it is not written physically here. Even if it is written in the spiritual realm. Blotted out. Blotted out. Praise the Lord. There is a man of God who there was a meeting. And he was reading certain things upon people's faces. His ministry was very interesting. The spiritual realm, it tells this woman, a very important man. He says, Madam, Madam, I see a sword in your belly. Never a chiso, Murugoto. I see it from the back. Chiva Mogongo, a chifumide no mass. And of course, it is hard to believe. Categories of Tachikiza, Wakugambe, Chigambong. He says, I have been feeling pain. We have gone to all hospitals. Mugaze Mumuduadido, Maduadida get day. He says, do you want to be told to the sword? <laughs> he says, please, if you can. 
So he just did his hand like this. Na kwa mkono gwe wachi. He says and the other one fell down. Oh mchala na yeko be chigweri. So he said we are in a very powerful Bali meeting. Bali meeting of executives. Ya abantu bakuru. And now it would look embarrassing what did you do to her? Kaka wono mukoze. She went down. Kubanga ya bwa na aleka na nagwa wansi. And that was all. Era ekisobe chabwe bachi mujamu na wona na kuona. The lady. Kwa mchala omulala. He said there is something written on you there is a, a bandage mubwenyiwe na muri we poster etipande ngakulike ebigambo so i just went and said i have removed it nabijako <laughs> praise the lord and exactly what was what was written i'm explaining <laughs> when i say <laughs> every handwriting when banjo gera kuti kama handwriting some in my book chinzo kuba mchitabo wetofayo whether it is written in the spirit of it is tagged on you it is blotted out in jesus name whether somebody spoke words recently or they are hanging in the spirit there is a tag on you. I declare it blotted now in Jesus' name. It is cancelled. It is lost in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Anything written that is working against you. The Bible says the Bible all things must work together for my good. All things must do what? Work together for my good. Not for my downfall. Not for my frustration. Not for my disappointment. All things must do what? Work together for my good. Hallelujah. And everything is working for your good now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. He has blotted out all the handwriting. Praise the Lord. My people perish because they lack knowledge. You can stand with this scripture. You can stand with this scripture. Whether a full day. Whether I full week, whether I full month, standing in your house, every hand raising against my marriage, against my children, it is blotted out. It is blotted out. In the name of Jesus, you can use this scripture. You can use this scripture. You keep on declaring. If there is any handwriting that I do not know, I declare it blotted out. Because through Christ, there is none standing. There is none remaining. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Give the Lord a mighty hand of praise. He says it was blotted out and it was taken to the cross. Nailed it to the cross. Nailed it to the cross. Nailed it to the cross. Hallelujah. Nailed it to the cross. Praise the Lord. Jesus. Yes. The Bible says he carried our infirmities. He said who? You have cancer, bring it, give it to me. You have pressure, give it to me. Who has what give it to me. You have what, give it to me. Failure, 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 give it to me. Now he went with he went with the ulcers. He went with the pressure. When he was alive, all those things were alive. When he was nailed on the cross, he died. When somebody dies, does the malaria virus remain alive? Does the cancer virus remain alive? They die with the pastor. They die with the pastor. Hallelujah. So all those things are dead in Jesus' name. That's what he's saying. He carried them to the cross. He died with those things in him. Hallelujah. They died with him. Praise 
the Lord, praise the Lord. And the Bible says we were buried with him. So everything inside of us was dead. Then the power of God came. And we resurrected together. When we resurrected, the cancer died a long time ago. The pressure died a long time ago. The house died a long time ago. Can we give the Lord a mighty hand of praise? Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. That's where now he says, verse 15, and, and having spoiled principalities and the powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them in it. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. He spoiled the word principalities. He spoiled the principalities and the powers. And he made a show openly openly Satan was not defeated in the defeat I mean in, in secret Satan was defeated publicly he knows his fate he knows it he knows it that's why when you rise up and tell him he knows his fate hallelujah hallelujah Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. I explained what he says about spoiling principalities and making a show openly. Not everything that in the Roman military government that's what Paul is quoting whenever they would fight the they take over that nation they don't come back immediately they don't come back there is a day set when all the those who are involved in the war there is a day so now on that day when they are coming back they come back with the fruits of that place they come back with the, the rare, rare animals they got from there so on that day all of us who are welcoming our warriors back we go and wait on the Maybe if it is, a, if it is Barret or Road, we now stand at the Toto Petrol Station. And we line up all the sides of the road. Now the commander who was commanding the battalion is seated in a chariot. He's decorated. Seated in the chariot. And, and so it's an open one. open roof. And so he's waving to the people. And so the ones on the sides. They are cheering up. Our man. Our man. Our man. Praise the Lord. Now, Kati, he's in the chariot. Ali Behind him e we, is the ruler. Yo the one whom he overturned. Wangula. The ruler yo if it was a king baka baka, plus his governors neba, neba be, they are behind him. Bali not in the chariot. He is being driven in the chariot. Yeah, they are walking on the foot. They are stripped naked. 
tied in chains. So while the triumphal celebration is applauding the one who won the battle, the same, the same triumphal entrance of this one is the mockery of this one who is defeated. While this one is saying, yeah, yeah, is, these ones are naked tight. They are embarrassed. They are put to shame. Praise the Lord. So now, Paul is drawing for us a picture. He said, he spoiled all the principalities. All those rulers. He spoiled them. He stripped them naked. They have no power. Amen. Are you getting the picture? Are you getting the picture? Mm. So while he is being celebrated. We are not talking about the Roman guy. They are celebrating him. They are our hero. He is saying you can see. You can see. You can see. Now, now Kati. the good news is Paul draws the picture of the Roman soldier. But he says we are seated with Christ. So this time, we are not like the Roman government. We are not celebrating the victory of the soul. We are seated with him in the chair. Which yes. means together we have stripped these principalities. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You know, walking a free life in the spirit depends on the revelation you have. But this is common Bible study. You know, Bible this study. is what we are supposed to know. Eh, eh, to, that we are ruling with Christ. That every principal has been spoiled. Spoiling means he has been disarmed. 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 Triumphing over them. We are stepping over them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So the Bible tells us that we are more than conquerors. More than what? Conquerors. They say the conqueror is the one who votes. That's how they explain that one. The conqueror is the one who did what? The more than a conqueror is the one who was given the victory crown. Praise the Lord. The conqueror is the one who fought. The more than a conqueror is the one who came and gave the belt that we have won. The belt. Here is the crown. That's why the Bible says we are more than what? Jesus is our conqueror. Yes, and we are more than the conquerors. We received the victor's crown. How many have the victor's crown here? Stand on your feet if you know you have the victor's crown. Father, we bless your holy name. Lord, we give you the praise. Thank you, Lord, because you are worthy. You are able. Hallelujah. You have the victor's crown. You are more than a conqueror. All principalities have been spoiled. Spoiled. 
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So whatever you think has been your problem. It is down. It is down. In Jesus' name. It is down. In Jesus' name. And when you use the truth, the one you have known, the one you have been learning, and you can use it and say, No, from today, Satan, I know the truth. And this is the truth. And you must go. You may not say it once. You may say it several times. You may dwell on it for a week. You may dwell on it for a month. But you are telling him, You must go. In the name of Jesus, I am not a conqueror. You are defeated. You are defeated. You will wake up one day and it is not there. It is not there. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. He said. He redeemed us. That we may be fruitful. In every good work. Hallelujah. You must be fruitful. You must be what? Fruitful. Hallelujah. In every what? Good work. In every what? Good work. Be fruitful. In Jesus' name. Be fruitful. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Father, we thank you. We bless your holy name. We give you the praise because you are worthy and you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think about. We thank you, Lord. We give you the praise that from today we discover, we know we are supposed to be fruitful. Being fruitful is our portion. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Because all the principalities have been spoiled. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We address all the principalities. We address all the powers. I declare to you the word of the Lord that you were spoiled in this woman's life. You are spoiled in this woman's life. Somebody speak to yourself. Say, I declare to you principalities. I declare to you powers. You know what? You know what? In your mind, listen to me. In your mind, these principalities are not above you. The Bible says we are seated above them. So we are declaring them as belong. Telling them, you cannot hold on me. You cannot hold on my children. You will 